What is going on crypto miners and welcome back to the channel. So today we're talking about how to get in to crypto mining in 2025 as a beginner. And who else to join me but Seb. How's it going, Seb? Hi. Yeah, it's going well. Thank <laughs> you for having me. And uh, yeah, I'm excited to get talking about this. Obviously, a big part of why I've been running a YouTube channel now for four years. Um, both you and I are going on four years now uh, is because we love crypto mining and we love crypto and you know we want to be getting new people into mining because well at least for myself i can say a big portion of this is i believe you know the more of us the better the more widespread crypto and mining gets the better for everyone rising tide floats all boats so yeah i'm really excited to get into this topic with you all right so first before we get into that you know let's talk a little bit about how we got started and then we'll go ahead and set the stage so seb for you, when did you get started and what kind of hardware did you kind of get started with? So uh, my very first introduction to crypto mining was quite a while ago. I remember my uh, my good friend was mining on NiceHash and this was a long, long time ago, actually. And he just had his laptop, you know, with some gaming GPU in it up and running and he was earning a little bit of Bitcoin. I believe this was maybe back in 2015, 16 or something like that. So it was so cool how he just had his laptop standing there making uh, Bitcoin for him. Obviously, I was aware of crypto mining before then, but this was the first kind of like real life interaction I had with someone actually doing it. Then fast forward to the Ethereum mining craze of 2021, which is when I decided to actually take the plunge. It was the first time I was living in any sort of way where I could actually build and run uh, mining hardware myself. I'd always just been renting bedrooms before then. So I took the plunge. I bought my first GPUs, put my rig together. And back then, GPU mining was extremely profitable. And if you were savvy, you could find the GPUs for pretty good deals then. And that is what I did. I just scoured the internet for secondhand GPUs at good prices. I took my earnings from my GPU mining and I just rolled that into buying more and more GPUs. So my farm essentially grew on its own. And I guess as they say, the rest is history. <laughs> Love it. For me, I started, I think it was 2016, 2017 when I was first introduced to it. Uh, I came across a um, web page called Miner Gate. Uh, terrible website looking back on it. Uh, and it was a website that was ahead of its time though. Um, it allowed you to take a computer, didn't need to be anything impressive, and you could install the application on it and you could record, um, I'm sorry, not record, but you could mine on those actual devices and it would go ahead and just kind of um, algo swap all different types. And, and when I went back years later and looked at this, I had bags of all these coins I never heard of, some of them didn't exist anymore. There was some Ethereum in there, or, which was all, or, sorry, um, Ethereum in there, which was absolutely awesome and uh, very surprised to see that. But I went like, bought 20 computers off uh, Facebook Marketplace, set them all up, ran them on there for about three months and was like, why am I not rich? And I got out of it. And then kind of like you, jumped ahead several years to the Ethereum craze. Uh, and that's where I really started to get into it, decided to kick off my channel. Uh, and document my journey along the way. And so here we are today now, several four years later, and really immersed in crypto mining. So to set the stage a little bit here, you know, your brother or relative approaches you and says, I would like to get into crypto mining. Where do I start? Where do I go? What research do I need to do? Who do I need to talk to? What should I buy? We'll start out with you, Seb. What is on your mind for a beginner looking to get started? Thank you to today's video sponsor, ASICmarketplace.com. If you're in the market for the top ASIC miners, look no further than ASICmarketplace.com. They have some of the best miners on the market in 2025. To name just a few, Bitmain, Antminer, L9, and L7, the Alphapex DG1+ the Canon Avalon A15 XP, and many more. And oh, home miners, asicmarketplace.com has you covered as well. The Alphapex DG Home 1, the Bombax EZ100C, the Ice River AL2 Lite, and many more. Finally, three big reasons I like asicmarketplace.com. First, 
the price on their website is to your door. Shipping and import tax is included in the price. Second, they accept cryptocurrency as a payment method. And third, I've been working with them for over two years and never had a bad experience buying from asicmarketplace.com. Go check out asicmarketplace.com today and use my discount code to save $100 at checkout. So obviously me being a bit biased perhaps is I would say try and get them as interested in the process as possible and get them as involved in actually learning about mining and crypto. And I genuinely believe that if this is someone very, very new to it, then don't just recommend or oh, go out and buy, you know, a $10,000 ASIC because that is what's the most profitable right now and look into hosting or, or whatever. Sure, that could be if, if someone is coming at you with a more you know, from a more business minded approach of like, how do I get into crypto mining as a business? Sure, that's maybe the direction you point them. But I think if someone, you know, like your brother or a good friend comes and wants to learn more and get into it, I believe what I would recommend to that person is, okay, well, start by building uh, using, you know, secondhand parts that you can pick up on Marketplace or eBay or, or whatever just a very simple CPU mining rig, because I believe that teaches you some really, really good skills that you can take with you, not only through crypto mining, but through a lot of different parts of life, just like building a computer and, and setting it up. And um, uh, also other stuff like setting up a, a hardware wallet or a core wallet on that computer as well, downloading mining hardware, getting set up with a pool and just learn the overall process of what crypto mining actually is and how it works on a more practical basis. I, I think that's a very good place to start. Get a decent CPU for mining. You know, you can get something a couple generations old. It, it will be very cheap at this point, but still, you know, okay in terms of just mining performance. Um, a very commonly uh, recommended CPU for uh, CPU mining is the uh, Ryzen 3900X. It's a good place to start and I believe they're really cheap on like marketplace now. Put together a little machine and what's so cool about that as well is that you can then also if you really, you know, um, uh, get into it, you can add GPUs to this rig as well. So you can take your CPU mining rig that you've built and you can slowly upgrade it by adding in first one GPU and now you're both CPU and GPU mining. So you're getting to learn both of those aspects of mining and you can then add a second, third, fourth, fifth, sixth GPU to slowly beef up your hash rate. Now, of course, the big caveat here is unless you have very cheap power, neither CPU nor GPU mining is specifically profitable at this very moment in time. But the reason why I still say this is because, you know, you can spend just only a few hundred dollars you can probably get away with on and, and the amount of knowledge you get from actually being hands on building a rig and seeing that whole process through from zero to the at the end where you're finally receiving coins into your wallet um it's such a big learning experience and i think at that point if if you're really into it then you can probably sell all of that for roughly what you bought it for and reinvest that money into other crypto mining hardware that actually is significantly profitable for you but that would be my very uh first advice someone getting into mining start by learning the whole process of it and actually go through it step by step yourself, then see where you want to take it from there. Love it. Love it. We're going to end the video there because Seb, you just hit it perfectly. No, <laughs> just kidding. So so what I will do is I will piggyback on, on something you mentioned there about learning. And this is something I wish somebody was over my shoulder when I first got into this. And it is very much like crypto is going to be here today, tomorrow, the next day, next month, six months down the road. So don't feel rushed. I know when I first got started, it was like, oh my gosh, I need to get into this. I need to rush. I don't want to be behind. I'm already, I already feel behind. That's not the case. What I recommend you do is call a quick timeout and spend time. Set aside a set amount. If it's two weeks, 
if it's a month on just educating yourself. The nice thing is about the crypto mining space is that there's so much content out there now that has been developed by myself and other content creators over the last four years that there's an abundance. There wasn't that even when I got started four years ago, there was a little bit uh, thanks to some of the larger content creators out there, but not a lot. And I know some of you guys that have been around for years far longer were like, there was nothing out there and it was all forums, totally get it. But take your time in educating yourself learning about things as Seb had talked about the different hardware in crypto mining you know as we talked about you know gpus and cpus and fpgas and asics it's a lot not only an investment but also a lot to get into there's a lot of risks with each of them in addition to that learning about crypto wallets the best way to store your crypto so that you don't get it stolen or you don't lose it because you forgot something because traditionally there isn't some customer service person you can call to help get your crypto back it's not how this industry works in addition to that, you know, what I did, which is different than most, is I spent almost six months watching YouTube content on crypto mining before I bought my first graphics card. Now, looking back, you know, that was super fruitful. Gave me an edge. I, I, I felt safe. I, I felt confident in my investment versus today. You're not going to go back and watch a video on GPU mining where someone's mentioning the word profitable today. Back then, yeah, but today it's just not there. Now, I do like what Seb said about, you know, stepping into this with a very a set of budget and then step into it, but step into this, not looking at profit. And I know you're going to be like, wait, I'm getting into crypto mining to make money. I get it. But making money is tough in crypto mining, especially right now in the current market. Just learning about it, I think would be better. Set a budget to learn. What's it going to cost you to learn about crypto? 500 bucks. And you might be like, oh my gosh, that's so much money. But in the grand scheme of things, it's not. It really isn't. So how much is that knowledge worth to you? Set a budget, stick to it, buy some hardware, learn the ropes. And then just like Seb said, when you feel comfortable, you can sell some hardware, you can buy up some bigger hardware. So there's lots of opportunity available out there for you. I think we just instantly forget about the learning and education value where I find, and I talk with plenty of people is they bought X and then they have no clue how to set it up. Yeah. Like, I, uh, wait, you spent that money and now you can't even set it up? Oh my goodness. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Sorry. I didn't mean to cut you off there. No. Um, before, please. I, I just wanted to, to quickly mention that, like, as with any sort of financial endeavor that you do in life, the mm -hmm. more you know, the better you are going to do. And I genuinely believe there's no better way of learning about crypto mining than to setting up your first rig and going through that whole thing uh, yourself, you know um hands-on if you will hands-on experience beats everything so i, I yeah. just wanted to, to get that in there really quick <laughs> no no absolutely perfect i'm glad you butted in it was perfect timing to be honest with you i think that's probably going to wrap things up for our video today for beginners just kind of what we can kind of instill in you and where to get started how to get started now granted this is only about a 10 minute video you're not going to learn everything about it but hopefully this steers you in the right direction i'll leave a few other videos down below especially some longer form videos that i think could be educational and that you could learn something from as you step into crypto mining so seb thank you very much for joining me today i do appreciate it hey thanks for having me and i'll see you later sorry to interrupt your video but check this out I constantly get emails from the community asking me about trustworthy hosting facilities in the United States that I recommend. Well, I got you covered. Listen up. A few months back, I visited Block Ops Mining's brand new facility in Central Arkansas. The team there was super professional, knowledgeable, and everyday miners like you and I. After visiting the facility, I sent them a few of my ASIC miners for hosting and have been super happy with their service and communication. Go contact Block Ops Mining directly down below in the video description and tell them the hobbyist miner sent you for great pricing on miners and hosting.